Okay, we are back at it. This is the first week of completion of Hack Reactor's 19 week course program and doing Python, JavaScript, and everything in between. Just want to state that again, I'm coming to you from Santa Rosa de Cabal in the country of Colombia. Just recently moved into a new apartment where I'm going to be at for the next six months. And we're actually also in the process, uh, myself and my girlfriend, we're in the process of getting an office that I will be working out of during this program. But nonetheless, um, this past week and this week and potentially the following week, I'll be just working from this apartment as we look for an ideal office setup for both myself and for my girlfriend. Just so you can see a little more of the background itself of the lovely Santa Rosa de Cabal. Um, this is just like an apartment complex. And yeah, that's Santa Rosa in the background. Without further ado, let's move into the office and talk shop. Because that's what you want to hear. Shop. Okay, as we walk into the office, this is again the current setup I'm working with and the view for this week. So the last video you would have saw of me was coming to you from our old apartment and that was the office that myself and my girlfriend were using for this past week and that was the office I was using for my first week in the Hack Reactor 19 week course. And there I actually did not have a chair, so I was using, uh, using, I, was, I didn't have anything, so or I didn't have anything. I was standing the entire time up until like the last two days. I did um, bring a chair from here that, that fit, fitted well with uh, the setup over there. But nonetheless, the setup I'm using here, and I found that sitting in front of this gorgeous window, there is great light. So let me sit down and uh, hash out some thoughts and perspective of my first week. Okay, that's so much better. So this today is a Sunday. This marks one week of the 19 week hack reactor course. And first impressions, I have to say, I've really enjoyed it up until this point, <laughs> one week. Um, it's very organized, it's uh, very intense. Um, as far as like, a lot of information being thrown into you in a very short period of time, I'm very grateful for myself that I've taken the steps and actions to prep myself, uh, taking extreme ownership before I start this course, uh, completing other courses prior to this to expose myself to, to Python, uh, computer programming, by no means am I an expert. I never will be an expert, but I aim to get better day in and day out. Um, I know a lot of um, individuals in the course, whether they're my cohorts or um, uh, the teachers themselves or the teacher's assistants. And the, t the teacher's assistants are called SEERS, which stands for Software Engineer Immersive, um, Immersive Resource. And they, they sum up um, what you would probably experience like your first couple of weeks in the program is um, drinking from a fire hose. And that's a very common phrase when it comes to you feel like things are just going way over your head, you're just getting so much thrown at you. That's exactly what it is in this program. And uh, I do like that. I guess the reason why is they're exposing you to so much is because it really is just so much to learn in the world of Python, computer programming, um, interacting with the terminal, for example. So the first couple of days were spent going over just kind of like what the structure and the pace of this course is going to be like. Um, but then integrating, working with the terminal, running commands in the terminal, so for example, if you're not familiar with how the terminal works, the uh, terminal is basically just what um, people would interact with uh, on a computer up until about the 80s without any type of graphical user interface. So you're basically just seeing um, numbers, letters, characters typed up on the screen and there's no graphics whatsoever. So that's basically an easy way to say what, what the terminal is and the terminal has many many powers as far as you do a lot of like file creation, saving, sharing on your local device, as well as doing it in outside your local device and other computers anywhere in the world. Um, to go along with other aspects that I've really enjoyed about this course so far, uh, lectures, but I really enjoy doing the class projects and doing it in breakout rooms. So the entire course is done on Zoom platform. And right now there's, I don't know the exact number, but there's somewhere probably around 65 to 70 individuals in my cohort. Most of them are on the East Coast, um, as well as some of them are on the West Coast and central part of the US. I believe there's a couple others outside the US being in Canada. Um, yeah, so again, one of the really nice things I like about this is the, ele the element and ability to connect with others while doing this program, whether it be in person or in person, whether it be through the Zoom platform itself with all the breakout rooms that'll happen throughout the day, 
The course is structured from starting at 9 in the morning, finishes at 5 p.m. with mini breaks in between and about a 45 minute lunch break that goes from 1 p.m. to 1.45. After 5 p.m., we then have what's called exploration. And exploration is basically the following day's um, course material that you did in the night before. So there'll be like problems, there'll be topics to, to read, as well as there's also a journal exercise that we do every day or every night. Um, that has a different prompt to it every single day that pertains to that day's material. And from what I have gathered up until this point, the reason we do this journaling is also to get us to, to work with um, technical writing as well as in the world of software engineering. And when you do like the job process, you're going to have to go through many technical interviews and being able to explain it rather than show it um, is very beneficial. And I know also in this course, when we do our first exam, the exam will not just have a technical portion to it, it will also have essay portion to it. And talking to other individuals that have done this program, uh, the belief is, and, and uh, the program instructors will say this too, the reason the journaling is to get you to think that way, get you to start working on being comfortable with answering questions in an essay format when it comes to technical topics, but answering it in your writing. So I definitely feel like I'm gonna get my money's worth because it's a very intensive program and it's going to be quite, quite busy with just numerous projects, new material, always learning. Like I said, I've had Python experience before um, doing a course, but it, this is certainly uh, nice from the standpoint of I have the ability to interact with others, be able to teach what I'm learning, be able to learn from others, and uh, work on projects in, um, in a, a very welcoming environment and a very um, wanting to always constantly learn and grow. From that standpoint, so this past um, Friday, the fifth day of class finished with um, having access to um, 80 Python problems that was posted on, it was uploaded to a platform called GitLab. If you're not familiar with GitLab, it's similar to GitHub and they basically just act as like a, a storage service for codes. Um, so when you write your own code and you wanna store it somewhere outside of your computer on like another server, GitLab and GitHub are considered the industry standards for sharing and uploading and um, yeah, being able to document your code. So in this case, we had 80 problems that were shared to us on a GitLab, GitLab a repository. And so then we download the, the, the repository onto Visual Studio Code and work away. <laughs> and also we were instructed while we complete these problems, along when we complete these problems, say you complete like a couple at a time, three or four, uh, to get in the practice of then committing that onto a branch on the terminal and then pushing it up to your repository that you would have cloned or forked uh, from the GitLab. So I do really like that concept of, of really putting the fundamentals first or just not fundamentals first, but more so just reminding us on how the importance of working with the terminal getting your steps down now before we really start working with, um, whether it's in this course, but especially in the real world or in the professional setting, um, where we have the full ability and confidence to work with um, other team members from other parts of the world and you work on the same code through Git and knowing the correct sequence to avoid any mishaps of deleting somebody else's code they worked very hard on or losing code you worked hard on. Um, so yeah, that's what's been keeping me busy. Not today, <laughs> but throughout the entire week. Uh, Saturday, I do have to say, um, the course is quite long as far as being in front of the computer all day. What I can say that's really helped me is telling myself and knowing for myself is recommended and it's good to walk away from your computer, whether it's during the five minute breaks, because we probably get anywhere from I don't know, it feels like 10 to 12. Uh, I'm just guessing, I don't know the exact number of five minute breaks throughout the day, which is very beneficial. But telling yourself and making yourself walk away from the computer and stepping outside and doing some type of exercise, doing something for a minute straight or two minutes straight where you're not really having to think whatsoever, you just kind of have your mind, your brain disengage, which it does allow um, you to come back into the learning environment and um, it can help with retaining information. I also find that it's very important to have a um, good set of glasses that can help you focus as well as prevent blue light and also 
um, taking into account, potentially you can think about using the, um, using the habit of putting your phone, like me, my phone is generally always in black and white from the standpoint of not being exposed to the, the lights, just easier on my eyes, as well as occasionally I have to do more computer work in the evening time, whether it's through this course or doing some other work that I do while I'm here in Columbia, I will put my, my computer in black and white, which I just recently started doing that this past week. And that's something I found very beneficial for my eyes and I can still focus late at night. As well as I learned about a new Chrome extension, which is pretty cool. I think it's called Dark Read. I'll put a link in uh, the description of this video. But the neat thing about this app is it allows you to visit any web page when you're using the Chrome Chrome uh, when you're using the Chrome browser, and it'll automatically put that web page or website in black or in dark mode. So, for example, you can open your Gmail account, and oh, presto, it is in black. Um, so it's <laughs> very uh, much, 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 much more easier on your eyes. I have to say that's one of the takeaways I, I really had this past week is just how much time I'm going to be spending on the computer and really emphasizing and knowing for myself what are practical habits that I can implement for myself uh, that I can do anytime that there's really not going to be any constrictions as far as like what's going on in life to, to be able to implement these habits and that's waking up early, doing physical exercise before class starts, doing meditation, getting my mind right, stretching, eating good, drinking lots and lots of water and as class is going on being engaged but also knowing when breaks are on just turn off the video on Zoom, go outside and do that as many times as possible and change it up for what I'm doing for a break. And also throughout the day, I've been doing more breath work and meditation. And when five o'clock comes around, um, taking a break from the computer, not going right from five o'clock, kind of like the class ends, but then explorations are, are, are opened up to um, not go right into them right away, but taking a break, take like a 30, 30 minute to an hour break and to just recharge and go back to it so you can completely focus. So yeah, those are just some thoughts. Um, you probably tell, did not plan this whatsoever. That's just how I'm doing it right now and <laughs> the sake of saving myself some time because uh, life, doing other things in life too. So uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, that's what I'm gonna say about that. Um, yeah, so this is week one, concludes week one. If you have any questions, uh, comments, or anything pertaining to this course as I'm going through it, or any thoughts of how you can prepare for it or whatever in the world of software engineering, uh, please let me know. Um, I've been the past like three months compiling lots and lots of resources and documenting down on a Google Docs, as well as just continuing learning more and more, learning from more and more people in the industry and continue building my, more, my network. I'm more than happy to share with what I've learned up until this point. Again, I'm a greenhorn, uh, but I always wanna just do my best to share and be of service to anybody that I can offer and help help out to. So with that said, thank you so much for taking the time. Really appreciate it tremendously. Looking forward to next week because this week marks um, the second Friday off. So in this 19 week course, you get the first, um, the second Friday. You always get the second Friday out of a 10 days period or let's say two weeks. Every two weeks, you get the second Friday off. That's the easy way to say it. So every two weeks, you get the second Friday off. So. This Friday is off and it falls in line with President's Day, which is a Monday. So that means I have a four day weekend after this coming week. So my second week will be concluded, uh, hopefully going to the Hot Springs just outside Santa Rosa de Cabo. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. A nice like, recharger and engaging with the physical world. <laughs> Cause that's also one more thing I do want to say. <laughs> I've noticed that um, I want to be mindful when I can and not have to. It's not like I need where I have to be on my computer on Saturday. I would like to take Saturday off from not being on my computer whatsoever and being engaged as possible. And that's exactly what I did this past Saturday. And also pretty much most of Sunday, I went for a nice four hour nature walk with my girlfriend, and my suegra or my mother-in-law and uh, friends of theirs. And yeah, I have to say, um, I'm just very grateful I live in a very beautiful part of the world and it's very accessible just by walking or taking a bus. And the weather is, for the most part, tremendous year round, every day. It's, uh, it's a blessing itself. So, signing off for now, Xander over and out. See you in week two. Um, and please feel free to uh, message me with any questions or comments. Ciao, ciao for now. No spamos.